So someone sent me a link to this interview right here. So I'm going to see what it's about. It better be funny. Like if it's not funny, I'm not going to upload it. Let's see. Ugandan president's interview. All right. Let's see what this is about. What is your message to Western human rights groups, to President Obama, respect, to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender re re people? Respect. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's the whole trying to push this ideology on Africa again. African societies and their values. Yep. Respect. If you don't agree, you just keep quiet. Let's manage our society the way we see. If we are wrong, we shall find out by ourselves. Well said. Just the way we don't interfere with yours. Do you personally dislike homosexuals? Of course, they are disgusting. <laughs> African elders don't give a damn, y'all. They don't care, man. They're very blunt, like my mom. They're very blunt. I remember one time my brother was dating this girl, was a bit overweight. And <laughs> he brought her home. <laughs> and after she left, my mom was like, Jesus Christ, that's just out of <laughs> out of all the girls around, <laughs> he brought a hot air balloon. <laughs> African parents, African elders don't give a damn, man. Oh, man, this ideology and all these things won't fly in Africa, man. Just The West better just give up right now because it's not going to fly. We're not going to accept this. If you don't agree, you just keep quiet. Let's manage our society the way we see. Mm -hmm. If we are wrong, we shall find out by ourselves. Exactly. Just the way we don't interfere with yours. True. Do you personally dislike homosexuals? Of course, they disgust you. <laughs> what, what, what sort of people are they? How can you go? Uh, I, I don't, uh, I never knew what they were doing. That's how I've been told recently that uh, what they do is terrible. Disgusting. But I was, I was ready to ignore that if there was proof that that's how he's born, abnormal. But now the proof is not there. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was that was intense. Let's read the comments. What's going on here? Well, it was seven years ago. What a long time ago. I guess that was about the same period Obama was going around trying to preach the gospel of the rainbow community to Africa, and they weren't having it either. As an American, hearing this level of honesty from a politician is so refreshing. <laughs> I love reading comments down here. Look at the ratio. This is on the CNN YouTube channel. Look at the ratio. Look at the the like to dislike. People actually like like what this guy said. Whoa! I wouldn't think that on the CNN page. Respect African society and their values. Just the way we don't interfere in yours. That was a very good message. A lot of lot of positive message here like taking the Ugandan president's side <laughs> the most honest interview of all time <laughs> it's the face he pulls <laughs> it's the face he pulls when he says of course <laughs> no, that guy caught me man that caught me off guard oh man dude has no chill <laughs> you have, mm, man, you haven't really met an African elder man oof oh my parents roasted me like crazy because I had a ripped jeans. Because I had a jeans with some rip, uh, with some rips on it, looking like a bloody rock star, and they thought I looked like a garbage collector. They roasted me, man. They don't. They have no chill. Anyways, that's the video, guys. <laughs> this was a good one. <laughs> oh, this was a good one. <laughs>